Welcome to another edition of our Gentle Fit Exercise class. I'm Valerie, physiotherapist with the Lanark Renfrew uh, Community Health Center. Uh, hope you're enjoying our classes today. I'm planning on using the uh, hand weights for resistance if you have any. Otherwise, you can always use anything you have on hand uh, for resistance such as cans of food, water bottles, um, I'm also planning on introducing a few new moves, so uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Without further ado, let's get started with our warm-up. We're going to try bringing the arms up, pulling down, reach up, pull down, breathe in, breathe out. If you're having shoulder issues, just make sure you can go only as high as you're comfortable doing. It's all about respecting your physical limits, but still staying active within those limits. One more. Hands are in front of the shoulders, thumbs are touching the shoulders, we're opening the side to side. One more time on each side. Hands are in front of the shoulders. We push forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. on the hips, slightly scooting forward on your seat. We're doing some trunk rotations. So I want you to twist to one side, back to center, twist to the other side. Breathe in center, breathe out, twist. One more each side. Back to center, lifting one knee up, doing little circles with that hip. Last one, go the other way. Last one on that side, switch leg, knee up, and circles. One more, switching direction. You can make your circles as small or as big as you want. Do what feels good for you. Ooh, it's getting tired. Two more. All right, put that foot down. Let's kick. So extending the leg.
One more time on each side. Keeping one leg up, I want you to pump that ankle up and down. Last one, switching leg, pumping the ankle. One more, perfect. Let's do some cardio. Let's stand up and start with our marching. Marching, holding onto the chair if you need to. We're trying to roughly do each exercise in our cardio portion for almost a minute. Using your pursed lip breathing as you find your breathing getting a little too fast. Trying to slow it down, emptying your lungs of that trapped air by making your breath out slightly longer than your breath in. So we're going to go into our first new move for today. chair aside a little bit so you can see better it's called a v-step so what it looks like is you're stepping forward wide stepping back narrow making the letter v forward wide back narrow if you need chair for support keep it to the side or stand sideways to your chair so you can have at least one hand on your chair This is Axel. He likes to bug me. Let's add a bit of an arm motion to this if you want. We're gonna go open, open, touch, touch, open, open, hip, hip. Hey, lots of coordination in this one. Last time, perfect. Let's do some side to side, so opening wide together, wide together. Again, holding on to your chair if you feel safer that way. My cat keeps clawing me when I do that. Let's do our modified jacks. Arms are bent, elbows 90 degrees, opening, closing. <laughs> One more to each side. Holding on to your chair, high knees, so to the side. Try to get your knees about hip height if you can. Stop it. You can add some arm swing if you wish. chair, toe touch back. Two more. Switching leg. Last one. 
facing. So coming to the side of your chair, we're going to do three step forward and kick, three step back and kick. So start with marching. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. So that's definitely a bit higher intensity. If you want, you can do, do marching on the spot and kicking. If you want, you can add some arm motion, one or both arm bending the elbows and extending. Last one on each side. All right, come back to your chair, grab your weights or whatever you're using for resistance. Starting with the chest fly. So bringing your elbows about shoulder height in front, they're bent 90 degrees. You're gonna bring your arms close. Breathe in open. Breathe out close. That's a tough one. Two more. Bring your arms down at the sides. We're going to go with bicep curls. So hands are facing in. As you bend the elbow, I want you to twist so your hand comes at facing your shoulder at the end. We alternate each side. It's important to control back down. Don't just let your arm drop down. The muscle needs to be worked in both direction.
each side. Last one on each side. Bring your weights just above the knees. Let's start with some hip flexion. So lifting those knees up against the added resistance. If you want to add a bit more challenge to this, try to move forward a bit on your seat and keep your nice posture so it works the trunk muscles to keep you upright a little bit more. Let's do one more on each side. All right, now we're gonna do our heel raises. So lifting those heels up, Again, against the added resistance that's on your knees. Two more. With your back nice and straight, I want you to lean forward a bit. Your hands are going to be facing forward. We're doing an underhanded row. Pulling those elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades, and releasing down. Two more times. Okay. You can put those weights aside, we're going to stand up. Another new move I don't think we've done yet is going to be the lunge. So a very good exercise for the thighs, hamstrings and the glutes. You stand sideways to your chair, you're going to take a step back, bend that knee towards the floor and come back up. Important to look at the front knee here. I'm going to push my chair so you can see. My front knee does not go past my toes. It's an up and down and not a forward and back. Only lower as you're comfortable and keep your chair for support. Let's do one more. Stand up. Shake the legs. Now we switch the leg forward. Take a step back with the other leg and we do the lunge again. Bending that knee down, keeping the front knee behind those toes. again facing your chair hip extension kicking back keeping the knee straight movement is from the hip Last one, let's stretch, taking a step back, front knee slightly bent, back leg is straight, feet are flat and pointing forward. Thank you. 
Let's come back to our seated position. We're going to stretch the back of the leg and the glutes by grabbing underneath the knee and pulling it towards our chest. Releasing down. Same thing with the other leg, pull towards you. Release. Another hip stretch if you're able to bring that ankle over to your knee. See how the knee can be up a bit? Slight pressure on the inner thigh just to bring it down slightly. You should feel that stretch on that hip. If you can't get your leg up there, you can use a towel or just grab your pants to hold your leg up a little bit. So this is called figure four stretch. Our hips tend to get pretty tight because we spend a lot of time sitting. Release. Other side, bring that ankle over to the knee or close to the knee. Slight pressure down on the inner thigh. Of course, if you've had a hip replacement, this is not a position that you should be doing. to the opposite side. Coming back, other arm up, lean to the opposite side. Back to center, bending the head forward. Coming back up. And that will conclude our workout for today. I hope you enjoy it. Please give us any feedback. Uh, we'd like to hear from you. Take care.